Okay, let's talk about the warm up. The warm up is a really important part of the class. It's the first thing that you do when you start your class. It's not only important for the students, it's important for you as a teacher. Sometimes we come into class, it's morning, we might be a little tired, maybe we drove a long way to get to the class. And personally, I don't want to think about every class, how to start out the class. I want to do the same thing every time. It gets me warmed up, it gets me into the class. And the same for the students, it's good to have a routine. And they get better and better and better at it. And it's kind of like, I don't know if you've ever played a musical instrument where you do scales to warm up before you start practicing your songs. Or if you've done a martial arts, we do the same kind of movements every time at the beginning of the class. It's just a way to warm up, get the class going, get everybody into the space of learning English. And if you teach in an EFL, English as a Foreign Language Environment, it's possible your students haven't heard or spoken any English since your last class time. And if you only teach once a week, that's a long break without hearing English. So that's why we start with the warm up. So the first thing I do when the students come to the class is I greet them with a big hello, hello, big smile, hello. If it's the morning, I say, good morning, good morning. Or if the afternoon, I say, good afternoon, good afternoon. Okay? And then I always do this exact same warm up every time, like this. Clap your hands, clap, clap, clap. Wash your hands, wash, wash, wash. Shake your hands, shake, shake, shake. Brush your teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Comb your hair. Comb, comb, comb. And then I say, great job. Now, if they're little students, I'll go a lot slower, like this. In fact, if it's the first time, I might even say the first few lessons, clap, 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 clap. Wash, 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 wash. Shake, 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 okay? So the idea is when they're first starting out, if they're beginner, young learners, they don't have to repeat after you, okay? They're maybe just follow along with the actions is totally fine. And as they get a little older, maybe four or five or six, and they've had your class for a while, then when you say, clap your hands, the students are gonna repeat, clap your hands. And then I say, clap, clap, clap. And the students say, clap, clap, clap. Okay, and then next, Wash your hands. And then the students say, wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash. Okay, you get the idea. So the students are repeating after you in the warm up. So it's a little bit of back and forth, a little interaction. TPR, total physical response, right? We're doing actions. Okay, and then that's a simple warm up. Hello. The other thing that I sometimes do after that is maybe I'll say we'll go through the body parts, another simple warm up I'll do after that basic warm up, which I do every time, where I'll say, touch your head, wiggle, 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 touch your shoulders, wiggle, 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 and I'll go through knees and toes, touch your eyes, touch your ears, wiggle, 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 just a little fun kind of silly thing to get the class rolling, okay? So those are your basic, simple warm-ups.